Okay, so for those of you who don't know, there was a farm attack on a farm outside Porch of Strum on Friday night. Assailant ambushed the farmer, opened fire on him, striking the farmer twice in the upper body. One of the bullets actually exited the farmer's back. The farmer then drew his personal defensive firearm, returned fire and killed his assailant in self-defense. The farmer is at present still in ICU and is apparently being operated on for the second time. So to any of his friends and family who may be watching this, my thoughts are with you. He behaved absolutely brilliantly under incredible duress. He had acted appropriately, managed to defend himself successfully and protected his family and likely other dependents on the farm from the machinations of a dangerous and violent criminal who was out for blood and uh, whose career has now been fortunately ended by the judicious application of lethal force. Now, there's more to the story, obviously, than just that. The deceased assailant, the deceased would-be murderer, was out on bail. He was out on bail for a previous armed robbery he committed, probably with friends, and the farmer whom he attacked and ambushed was a witness in that case. So here we have a violent criminal with a proven violent track record going after a witness in a case against him and who was out on bail. Oh, and to make it worse, the firearm that he shot the farmer with was a police service pistol that he robbed from a police official. How exactly this robbery went down, how he managed to rob a police official of their service weapon without having a firearm of, of his own, I don't know. I'm not privy to those details. I can read between the lines. It can be as malicious as, as you can be as malicious about this as you want to be and say, well, there's a corrupt policeman who lent or, 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 or sold his service pistol to a violent criminal. Or we can say it was a police officer that was ambushed by someone with a knife. And we all know that uh, weapon retention skills, basic combatives and self-defense is a skill that's, that's not taught in the SAPs today. I mean, there's barely a budget to keep the cops qualified to shoot by the bare minimum legal definitions of what is considered qualified. And up to 80,000 of them allegedly weren't even qualified. I'm, I'm speaking under correction, but it was a huge number. What I remember is 80,000 could be slightly less. But we know that training in the SAPs is not something that happens as it should. So there really are no surprises here. Why this violent criminal was out on bail when conditions of bail stipulate that the person in question, the criminal suspect in question, mustn't pose a threat to the rest of society, especially witnesses in this fucking case, how bail was granted, if it was even legally granted at all, just escapes me. But this is once more another example, and there are numerous, of our criminal justice system being a putrid, disgraceful failure. It is a failure at achieving the outcome that its entire purpose of existence is. It is not promoting the safety and security of South African citizens. It is letting dangerous criminals out on bail repeatedly for reasons that escape me that, and that, that most, I think, lay people are not even aware of. So all that's left right now is, <laughs> all that we have left is outrage at this bullshit. But until magistrates, judges, courts, prosecutors start doing their fucking jobs, applying some due cognizance, common sense and understanding to what they're dealing with and stop releasing violent offenders out on bail for no good reason, they will continue to circulate in society and attack innocent people and even witnesses in cases against them until such time as a stop is put to it. In this case, the victim at least put a stop to it by shooting the fucker and killing him so that he can't go out there and perpetrate further murders and armed robberies. But we have to ask penetrating questions to judges, magistrates, prosecutors, and police officials as to why the fuck are you letting dangerous criminals back out to continue doing what they're doing? And somebody better be held criminally liable for this bullshit. That's it for me. Um, this is again proof at least that even if you're caught off guard, even if you're surprised, and even if you're outgunned, you can still successfully fight back and save your life and the lives of others. My thoughts are with the farmer and ICU, with his family. Pull through, 
you absolute eister, and well done for defending yourself and the lives of your family. From Gidon and Paratus, we'll chat soon.